Welcome to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Thursday, September 22nd, 2016. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Despite all the action and intensity we saw up there on the Olympia stage this past weekend, without Branch Warren there to kick things up about 10 notches, it just didn't feel quite the same. But that doesn't mean he still wasn't making his presence felt in Sin City. New video has surfaced of Branch getting in an early morning shoulder training session and looking every bit as big and as intense as we've ever seen him. Despite being on the north side of 40, Branch still continues to train with more intensity than 99% of the people out there who are half his age. And until he starts to show some signs of slowing down, for the foreseeable future, anytime Branch Warren enters the show, he still has to be considered a serious threat. It doesn't look like our old friend Thomas Lenahan has missed many meals lately. This week, Lenahan released some new progress photos showing off some of that nasty new thickness at 225 pounds. In his two appearances this season, the rookie 212 Pro came out and impressed big time with a couple of top 10 finishes, bringing in a level of conditioning that made everyone in the building stand up and pay attention. Lenahan really seems to have done his homework so far during this offseason, adding just the right amount of muscle without getting too out of shape or really blurring his lines. If he can keep that old improvement chain chugging along for the next few months, there's a solid chance that he comes in next year with the ability to make his presence felt in the top five at just about any contest he enters. Things really seem to be starting to round into form for Brad Rowe. After taking the early part of the season off to give his body a chance to rest, Rowe has really kicked into high gear as of late in preparation for his first event of the season. His most recent round of progress photos released earlier this week show plenty of crisp new detail starting to work their way in, not to mention some of the new front-to-back improvements that he's bringing in. In his first two seasons, we've seen Rowe collect a handful of top three finishes. But when you take them into account, along with some new wrinkles he's added to his game, there's a real shot that he ends up sliding in to grab his first career win before the year's end. Grind mode is in full effect for soon-to-be rookie sensation Reagan Grimes. Earlier in the season, Grimes won his pro card by putting together a devastating package to clean house back at the Arnold Amateur. And since then, he's been in the gym training like a man on a mission, to show the world he can indeed deliver on all that potential. Late last week, some new leg training footage surfaced of Grimes getting down to business and doing whatever it takes to get those wheels ready for the pro stage. All it takes is one look at Grimes to see that he is just bursting at the seams with potential. But when you factor in that old school veteran work ethic he brings to the table, you don't have to stretch the imagination too much to see him being a major force at some point in the very near future. If he can keep packing on muscle without sacrificing that crazy shape that makes his look so special, he's going to be at the top of everyone's watch list come next season. I'm not sure what's in the Michigan water out there, but I need to get some of whatever Ken Jackson's been drinking. New photos surfaced of a gigantic looking 266 pound Jackson earlier this week. So I guess it's safe to say that according to Jackson, everything's going as planned. After really making some impressive strides during the 2015 season where he was able to roll off five straight top ten finishes, for whatever reason this year, Jackson never really seemed to get on track in his only two appearances of the season. Now he's taking some extended time off to focus on getting back to the basics and letting his body heal up and grow. And with some long months still ahead of him before it's time to jump back up on the horse, Jackson still has plenty of time to keep the improvements coming. And hopefully that means when next season rolls around, he'll be ready to fire the engines up and come in bringing the best version of Ken Jackson we've ever seen. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out IronMagLabs.com today. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.